Neuralink is a forward-thinking neurotechnology firm that wants to improve nature's most complicated organ, the human brain. It was founded by serial entrepreneur Elon Musk to surgically implant small devices deep into the skull, potentially treat brain diseases and other medical issues, as well as giving humans the ability to connect with and control technology using our minds. Stay with us as we unravel some things you might not know about Neuralink. Do not forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel Insight. Hit the bell icon so that you can be among the first to be notified when we add new videos in the future. Without further ado, let's get right into it. About Neuralink You might be curious about what Neuralink is all about. The concept is now classified as science fiction, and depending on who you ask, it is either utopian or dystopian. Musk describes it as a Fitbit in your head with small cables, but it's not going to be simple to install. To implant 3,072 electrodes attached to 96 thin, flexible threads into your brain, these are between 4 and 6 micrometers in diameter, considerably finer than human hair, and are coupled to the N1 brain-to-machine chipset, which is just 23 millimeters by 8 millimeters. The link, according to Musk, is the implant that transfers brain impulses. According to Musk, the increased processing capacity will enable humans to compete with fast-evolving AI on a large scale. Musk told New York Times journalist Kara Swisher in September 2020 that AI does not need to hate us to destroy us. An anthill in the path of a road would be rolled over by us. Ants are not something you despise. You're only constructing a highway. And that the cognitive potential of computers is considerably larger than that of biological organisms. Musk explained, I built Neuralink specially to handle the AI symbiosis problem, which I believe is an existential threat. In the short term, Musk envisions the link as a treatment for a variety of mental illnesses and disabilities ranging from depression and anxiety to dementia and paralysis. According to Musk, the brain surgery required to implant the link may be quite close to LASIK in terms of duration and recuperation. While this may appear to be science fiction, Brain Computer Interface BCI, technology has been around for decades. A BCI device at its most basic level detects a brain signal, analyzes it, and converts it into a message that can be carried out by a device outside the brain. In the early 2000s, we implanted a very comparable brain-computer interface device to Neuralink's in humans, says John Donahue, a professor of neurology and engineering at Brown University. Since then, many studies have shown that human volunteers with paralysis who have been implanted with BCI devices can accomplish anything from control their paralyzed limbs to online shopping by simply thinking about manipulating a computer cursor or mouse. How it started According to the New York Times, Musk spent $100 million on Neuralink in 2019. According to PitchBook, Neuralink has raised a total of $158 million and has a market capitalization of slightly over $500 million. A former Neuralink insider informed TK, Takashi D.Y., Kozai, an assistant professor at the University of Pittsburgh's Department of Bioengineering, says he interviewed with the business in its early days that the corporation spends lavishly. According to an insider, if they needed a piece of equipment to test something out, we would have it at our building the next day, even if it was a multi-million dollar piece of equipment, and even if we only used it once or twice. Obtaining financing for university or government research is significantly more difficult and time-consuming, according to Kozai. Then there's Musk's celebrity status. It's less about Musk's breakthrough in communications as it is about the fact that the focus is already on Musk, and he's bringing it to BCI, Kozai adds. Musk most recently made headlines in August 2020 with a Neuralink product update. Gertrude, a pig who had been implanted with the link three months previously, had her brain activity displayed onto a screen for the demo. With the brain data acquired by the link, Musk told Swisher, 
You can physically massage the pig on its nose, and we can identify precisely where you contact the snout. The live-streamed event drew a lot of attention, but according to Antonio Regalado of the MIT Technology Review, it was really neuroscience theater, only impressive to the uninformed. Still, according to Bin He, trustee professor and director of Carnegie Mellon University's Department of Biomedical Engineering, Musk has had a significant effect on the industry and its speed of development through Neuralink. Numerous businesses have been created to research and market non-invasive and invasive machine interface technology, he adds, but not on the scale of Neuralink. When someone with star power promotes a concept, it has the potential to boost awareness of neurotechnology's potential benefits. It demonstrates that visionaries like Musk believe in the field's capacity to deliver, Donahue adds. Coverage in the media will also assist attract fresh talent to the sector as well as investors to fund the highly expensive translational process. How will this work? The human brain has 86 billion neurons that communicate via synapses, which transmit and receive electrical impulses. The device's threads will be linked in the brain using Neuralink, allowing it to monitor the activity of 1,000 brain neurons. Although that sounds like a short sample, amplified signals are stored and processed as digital instructions, and information is sent back to the brain to generate electrical spikes. The prototypes used a wired USB-C connection to send data, but the objective was to build a wireless solution. Rather than relying on human hands to do such a complicated process as implanting the chip, a surgical robot capable of putting six threads into the brain every minute has been created. Given that there are 32 electrodes per thread, this translates to the implantation of 192 electrodes, which is accompanied by drilling through the skull through a 2 mm incision that may be expanded up to 8 mm. The insertions are made using tiny needles, and a microscope is used to check that no veins or arteries are affected. The threads are then linked to the link, which is implanted on the cortical surface of the brain. It should take between one and two hours to complete the operation. The Neuralink website explains that it allows you to operate an iOS device or a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse just by thinking about what you want to accomplish. An app has been created to help you train your brain to execute tasks like moving a cursor, and it will include games to help you increase your speed and accuracy. The Neuralink team's primary goal is to assist people with impairments, particularly those who are paralyzed. According to the report, technology may help people reclaim their freedom by allowing them to merely conceive of action and see it carried out, as well as allowing them to completely manage a computer, control prosthetic limbs, create documents, and express themselves via art. The computer is also looking at how the technology may help those with epilepsy, Parkinson's illness, dementia, stroke victims, and even hearing and vision issues. During an appearance on Joe Rogan's podcast, Musk said, It may recover your eyesight, even if you've lost your optic nerve. There are also some possible consumer uses. The firm has considered the prospect of streaming music straight into customers' brains, and Musk believes that there will come a day when people will no longer need to talk. Neuralink may make writing faster by eliminating the need to tap a keyboard with your fingertips, enabling you to drive a car without touching the steering wheel, and stream games and experiences to your head. Trials on Humans Musk had hoped to begin human trials this year to roll out the technology, but it has only been tested on rats, monkeys, and pigs so far. A monkey was reportedly able to communicate with a computer, and in August 2020, Musk released a video of Gertrude, a pig who had the chip implanted in her brain for two months. While Gertrude ate and sniffed around, the link delivered wireless signals that were plotted on a graph in real time to track her brain activity. When these signals were input into a computer, Gertrude's movements could be predicted. Sensors for direction, angle, and inertia as well as pressure and temperature sensors, are all included in the link. Musk's overall assertion, you can create direct connections with neurons to understand and control their activity, is valid.
and has already been utilized in the construction of cochlear implants and prosthetic arms with a feeling of touch. Neuralink claims major engineering breakthroughs compared to current devices. Most existing brain-computer connections require a metal connector protruding out of the skull so cables may flow through. Neuralink employs wireless communication, a critical step toward developing a useful, safe medical device. The electrodes are tiny, flexible, and may be implanted with a new sewing robot, making it possible to place thousands of electrodes without disrupting brain tissue. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration designated Neuralink as a breakthrough product in July 2020, which bodes well for the firm, but it still needs to go through the necessary clearances and safety testing before it can be implanted in humans. These are questions that can't be answered with 100% confidence right now. Making a Mental Shift Reassuringly, the gadget can be removed if the user changes their mind, and Musk also showed off another pig who had a link implanted and subsequently removed. The animal looked to be completely normal, with no symptoms of brain damage, which suggests that the technology might be upgraded. But imagine many humans wanting to undergo surgery every time Neuralink releases a new version of their gadget. You won't be going to a clinic to get one of Neuralink's devices implanted into your brain anytime soon, because the technology is still in its early stages, version 0.9. That means we have no clue how much the brain chips will cost right now, but they will almost certainly be costly. As you might expect, this raises an ethical issue. Wealthy individuals are likely to be first in line, potentially creating a cultural divide. Could we be on the verge of giving the few superhuman skills at the price of the many? Final Thoughts Despite these improvements, Neuralink will not be able to treat mental brain disorders such as addiction and depression. The damage in most brain disorders is significantly more widespread, and there may not be a clear-cut solution. Understanding what activity is normal, what goes wrong in neurological illnesses and disorders, and how to correct it is required for interpreting and regulating brain activity. For many brain processes and diseases, neuroscientists do not yet have that degree of insight. Furthermore, aberrant behavior may not be easily remedied. There are obvious worries about putting electronics inside people's skulls, and long-term consequences must be studied, especially because the firm wants a gadget to last 10 years. Is it long-lasting enough? Is it possible that it will infect you? Would the device's heat be harmful, and how many links could one brain handle? We're sure you enjoyed and learned from this video. Share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Insight. Thank you for watching. See you soon.